hello welcome to this session today we are going to discuss inverse laplace transform which is in your semester 5 unit 3 in the last class we have uh, discussed about the laplace transforms and its uh, application to solve ivp today we are going to discuss inverse of laplace transform as like in your differentiation and integration process integration is reverse of differentiation and vice versa in the same sense here also if it is you are given a function that you are going to finding out laplace of that function and obtaining the answer say for while solving the ivp also you are given the ivp here you are taking laplace of that and you are finding out the function in the same sense here now here suppose uh, see the topic is inverse laplace transformation you know that laplace of the given function f of t is equal to f of s that while uh, applying uh, laplace for that function here it is you are finding out the solution in terms of s here it is now uh, in the inverse here you are given the function in terms of this here s right so you have to find what is the original function corresponding to that here now uh, the definition once we will define that so if laplace of f of t is equal to f of s then f of t is called f of t is called called inverse of inverse of inverse of f of s i mean transformation f of s or that we will write it is laplace inverse of f of s is equal to f of t yes notation wise we are going to write like express like this here it is all right so uh, here f of t is called inverse of laplace transformation of f of s that here and we will write like this here it is okay now say so therefore whatever the formula you have studied in the direct i mean laplace transform function here now the same process is going to be in the reverse manner so as usual just uh, for your your uh, consideration here i am writing it as a formula here so we have studied in the last class laplace of 1 is equal to 1 by s so that implies laplace inverse of 1 by s is equal to what 1 here so you are given function the for the for your convenience i'm writing in both the way here it is we know that laplace of 1 is equal to 1 by s therefore laplace inverse of therefore laplace inverse of 1 by s is equal to 1 second one laplace of that here it is e power kt we have studied it is nothing but 1 by s minus k so therefore laplace inverse of function is given in terms of uh, s that here s minus k is equal to e to the power kt similarly laplace of e to the power minus kt is equal to 1 by s plus k therefore laplace inverse of 1 by s plus k that is equal to e to the power minus kt now fourth one laplace of sin kt is equal to that k divided by it is s square plus k square therefore laplace inverse of here s square plus k square is equal to sin kt divided by k one thing you have to keep it in your mind here while writing that it is a laplace inverse for the sine function here k is constant here that extra term you have to divide here right it is sin kt divided by k similarly that you have collected the formula laplace of cos kt is equal to s divided by s square plus k square therefore laplace inverse of uh, 
एस बाई एस स्क्वायर प्लस के स्क्वायर इट इज इक्वल टू कॉस के टी सिमिलरली लैप्लस ऑफ दैट यू है कलेक्टेड सम मोर फॉर्मूला हि साइन एच के टी इट इज इक्वल टू के डिवाइडेड बाई एस स्क्वायर माइनस के स्क्वायर देर फोर लैप्लस इनवर्स ऑफ वन बाई एस स्क्वायर माइनस के स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू साइन एच के टी डिवाइडेड बाई के सिमिलरली हियर लैप्लस ऑफ कॉस एच के टी दैट इट इज इक्वल टू एस डिवाइडेड बाई एस स्क्वायर माइनस के स्क्वायर दैर फॉर लैप्लस इनवर्स ऑफ दैट वन बाय एस स्क्वायर माइनस और एस एस बाय एस स्क्वायर माइनस के स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू कॉस एच के टी दैट सिमिलरली यू गॉट वन मोर फॉर्मूला लैप्लस ऑफ टी पावर एन वॉट इज लैप्लस ऑफ टी पावर एन दैट इज एन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय एस टू द पावर एन प्लस वन therefore laplace inverse of see this is constant that you have to consider only variable so it is going to be 1 here it is equal to that t to the power n divided by n factorial right these are the formulas you have uh, uh, studied Uh, for the direct function and this is the formulas related to your inverse of a function here now using this formula we are going to solve some problems here right so now uh, as usual you are given the problem in terms of s yes. see for example if you are given here for example that if you are given function like this 1 by s yes, laplace inverse of 1 by s minus 2 then what is the function corresponding to that here it is which is going to be laplace inverse of 1 by s minus k what is the formula corresponding to that e to the power kt so what is k there k is equal to 2 there so it is going to be e to the power 2 similarly laplace inverse of 1 by s plus 3 if it is given here then uh, it is equal to e to the power minus what is k there k is equal to 3 there so like that here it is okay so similarly we will uh, get some more uh, examples in the next class thank you we'll meet again